the first Deccanese dynasty to build an empire in the southern region of the Indian subcontinent. Hello and welcome to UPSC History View. Today, let's learn about the Satavahana dynasty. The Satavahana dynasty, an Indian family that according to some interpretations is based on the Puranas, belonged to the Andhra Jati or the tribe and was the first Deccanese dynasty to build an empire in Dakshinapatha or the southern region. At the height of their power, the Satavahanas held distant areas of western and central India. On the strength of Puranic evidence, the beginnings of Satavahana ascendancy can be dated to late in the 1st century BCE, although some authorities trace the family to the 3rd century BCE. Initially, Satavahana rule was limited to certain areas of the western Deccan. Inscriptions found in caves, such as those at Nanaghat, Nashik, Karli, and Kanheri, commemorate the early rulers Simuka, Krishna, and Shatakarni I. The accessibility from the early Satavahana kingdom of the western coastal ports, which prospered in this period of Indo-Roman trade, and the close territorial proximity with the western Shatrapas resulted in an almost uninterrupted series of wars between the two Indian kingdoms. The first stage of this conflict is represented by Shatrapa Nahapana's penetration into the Nashik and other areas of the western Deccan. Satavahana power was revived by Gautamiputra Shatakarni who reigned from 106 to 130 CE. Gautamiputra Shatakarni was the greatest ruler of the family. His conquests ranged over a vast territorial expanse stretching from Rajasthan in the northwest to Andhra in the southeast and from Gujarat in the west to Kalinga in the east. Sometime before 150 CE, the Kshatrapas recovered most of these areas from the Satavahanas and twice inflicted defeats upon them. Gautamiputra's son, Vashisthiputra Pulumavi, who reigned from 130 to 159, ruled from the west. The tendency seems to have been to expand to the east and the northeast. Inscriptions and coins of Vashisthiputra Pulumavi are also found in Andhra, and Shivasri Shatakarni, who reigned from 159 to 166, is known from coins found in the Krishna and Godavari regions. The distribution area of Sri Yajna Shatakarni's regional coins is also spread over Krishna and Godavari, as well as the Chanda region of Madhya Pradesh, Berar, Northern Konkan, and Saurashtra. Sri Yajna is the last important figure in the history of the Satavahana dynasty. He achieved success against the Shatrapas, but his successors, known mostly from Puranic genealogical accounts and coins, ruled over a comparatively limited area. The local character of later numismatic issues and their distribution pattern indicates the subsequent fragmentation of the Satavahana Empire. The Andhra region passed on first to the Iksvagus and then to the Pallavas. Different areas in the western Deccan experienced the emergence of new local powers. Example, the Kutus, the Abhiras, and the Kurus. In the Berar region, the Vakatakas emerged as a formidable political force in the early 4th century. By this period, the dismemberment of the Satavahana Empire was complete. Despite the achievements of the northern Mauryas in the Deccan in the 4th to 3rd century BCE, it was under the Satavahanas that the historical period proper began in this region. Although there are no clear indications as to whether a centralized administrative system was evolved, an extensive system of currency was introduced throughout the empire. The Indo-Roman trade reached its peak in this period and the resultant material prosperity is reflected in the liberal patronage of Buddhist and Brahmanical communities. 
enumerated in contemporary inscriptions. Thank you for listening to this discussion on the Satavahana dynasty. For more such discussions, get the UPSC Practice app from the App Store.